Okay, in this problem, we're asked to show that r is regular at the point theta naught t naught and parameterize the tangent plane. And we're given that r of theta t is given by the parameterized surface 2 theta, negative 3 theta plus 1, 5 theta minus 2, plus t times 1, 2, 3. And we're given that theta naught t naught is the, at 1, 0. Okay, so first we want to show that r is regular. So we'll do that by taking the partial derivatives of r. So first, We see that the partial derivative of r with respect to theta is 2, negative 3, 5. And partial der derivative of r with respect to t is 1, 2, 3. Okay, now we know that um, if r is regular, then The only solution to this equation is when both a and b are zero. So we'll suppose that, uh, or we'll, let's see what we get when we set each of the components equal to zero. So we get 2a plus b So we get this system of equations, 2a plus b equals 0, negative 3a plus 2b equals 0, and 5a plus 3b equals 0. So we want all of these equations to be satisfied. Um, let's multiply this first equation by a negative 2. So we get negative 4a minus 2b equals 0. Now if we add the first equation to the second equation, we see that the b's cancel out and we get an equation just in terms of a. So we get negative 7a equals 0, but that means that a equals 0. So if a is equal to 0, we can just quickly look at any of these uh, equations. Plug in a equals 0, we see that 3b, for example, equals 0, which implies that b is 0 as well. So we've shown that the only solution to this equation is when both a and b are equal to 0. So we know that r is regular. So now we can go ahead and parameterize the tangent plane at the point. And we want to parameterize it at the point r of theta naught t naught. Notice that um, our partial derivatives are just constant terms, so the partial derivatives will be the same at any point. So likewise, it's true at the point 1, 0. Let's quick calculate what r of 1, 0 is. So we see that we get Point 2, negative 2, 3 is our point in the plane. And we want to take our tangent space, which is given by a linear combination of our partial derivatives at the point, And we're going to shift that to the point r of 1, 0. And that will give us the set of points um, that are tangent to our surface. And hence the tangent plane. So we get So we have a tangent plane at the point r of 1, 0 is our point r of 1, 0 plus 
some, con some parameter a times 2, negative 3, 5, plus some parameter b times 1, 2, 3. So that's our parameterized tangent plane at that point. Now we want to go ahead and sketch the surface near r of theta naught t naught and include lines from the ruling. Okay, so first let's So what we want to do is we want to look at r and we'll see that we can hold t constant and then we're given a line in terms of theta. So as we let theta vary, we have a slope of 2, negative 3, 5 times theta plus a point 0, 1, negative 2 plus whatever constant t is times 1, 2, 3. So um, if we hold t constant, we're given a line. And if we hold theta constant, similarly, we're going to get a line with a slope of t as 1, 1 2, 3. So let's, let's look at two points. We'll hold t constant at 2. So we'll get So we'll look at r of 2, 2, and r of negative 2, 2, and we're going to get a line between these two points. And then similarly, we'll hold t constant at negative 2. So r of 2, negative 2, and r of negative 2, negative 2 are going to produce second set of points which will give us another line and we'll notice that these two lines are going to be parallel because they have the same slope of, in terms of theta and then we can use these four points to also get a two lines in terms of holding theta constant so if we hold theta constant then we have these two points and these two points so a quick I'll just Fill this in quick. Okay, so we have these four points and we want to kind of plot them onto our XYZ plane or three dimensional space. And so we'll kind of plot them. So one's kind of up here, another is like there, and then we have kind of like that. So we have our r of 2, 2, our r of 2, negative 2. So this is holding our theta constant at 2. And we'll hold theta constant similarly down here at negative 2. And so we see that we have these two lines. They don't really look parallel uh, from this angle, but if you were to look at it directly on, you would see two parallel lines. And similarly, we have 
two parallel lines if we hold t constant, like so. And we can even kind of interpolate some parallel lines in between and see that those are some lines from the ruling. And we get this kind of this kind of plane, or well, this plane, basically. So our surface is a plane, and we can even kind of continue these lines. So we see that this plane kind of splits like that, and we want to We'll also kind of point out where our r of 1, 0 is. So if we let theta be 1 and t 0 on our surface here, we're going to let t be right in between 2 and negative 2. So um, we have t is right along this ruling. And we want theta to be about a quarter of the way because it's at 1 which is a quarter of the way between negative 2 and 2. And so we'll let that, so that's kind of roughly right about there. So we see that we have our surface near R of 1, 0. is just this plane. And um, just to note, to try and get a better visual, um, in this region that we have actually sketched here, um, these two points are in the positive x-axis, and then these two points are in the negative x-axis, and yet we don't actually cross the y-axis um, on this plane. So that's just kind of to give you a little bit of an orientation, but if you want to see it further, it's a lot easier to just sketch it with some software.